everybody welcome back to my channel this is garrick so primarily today uh, we're going to be going over the differences between a uss tesla model y versus the 2023 tesla model y with tesla vision let's see which is going to be better come on let's go check it out All right, for this test, it's gonna be really, really simple. So what we're really gonna do is we're gonna back up into a parking spot. We're gonna pull into a parking spot going forward and really take a measure the difference between Tesla Vision versus USS, which is gonna be accurate. Let's go check it out. All right, we're gonna start with my Tesla Model Y. Uh, my Tesla uh, has the uh, Tesla Vision. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure it uh, when it, tells us to, uh, when it tells us to stop, we're going to measure it and let's see how far uh, we really are. All right, so let's stop. Put the car to park and let's go outside and take a look. So here we are. We're going to measure uh, from uh, when the car has told us to stop uh, from here. It is telling us that we have about 21 inches from the curb. So uh, let's go take a look at the other Tesla and see how accurate the uh, USS system is. All right. So I'm in my friend's Tesla. He has a USS uh, system in the car. Uh, let's take a look and see how accurate this is. All right, here's a problem, right? With the USS system, it's not picking up the curb. It's actually picking up this fence that's actually sitting in front of the car. Uh, because of that, that's actually going to be an issue, right? So let's let's take a look. Let's see how far we, you know, we exactly are from the curb. My friend Tesla's picking up this fence. As you can see here, I'm about five inches away from the curb and unfortunately my friend's Tesla is only picking up the fence but let's be fair there is a wall down there we're gonna test it with the wall and see how it works but let's try this in reverse all right so I'm gonna in my Tesla Model Y with the Tesla Vision uh, we're gonna go reverse and let's see uh, if it picks up the curb All right, let's tell us to stop. Let's go measure that distance. All right, so right now what we're doing is that the car is telling us to stop. We're gonna measure it uh, and see exactly how far we are from the curb. All right, so we're roughly about 20 inches from the curb. So I guess the... Uh, I guess when the car is telling us to stop, we, ha we have about roughly, from the curb, from the car, roughly about 21 inches. All right, not too bad. At least we know that we have about almost two feet of space with Tesla Vision if, when the car tells us to stop. Let's try it with the uh, USS. All righty. I'm in my friend's Tesla Model Y with the USS, and uh, let's back it up. All right, same as the uh, when we pulled into the spot, the USS system is not picking up the curb. It is picking up the fence. Uh, let's uh, switch over to the wall and let's see what the results are. All right, to make this test fair, what we're going to do is that we could actually pull up to the wall and let's see how far 
um, the distance would be when this particular car tells us to stop. Again, I'm in my friend's Tesla Model Y with the USS system. All right, it's telling us to stop. Let's put this car in park and let's test that out. Let's measure this out. We're gonna measure the difference here and this is tight. And we have, from the plate, we have about 11 inches to the wall. Let's test this out with uh, my Model Y. All right, so I'm in my Tesla Model Y with Tesla Vision. We are gonna drive to the wall. And as soon as a car tells us to stop, that's when I will measure the, uh, the distance between the car versus the wall. All right, let's go measure this out. So it actually has the same results compared to uh, parking the car with the curb. Um, what's happening is, um, and what's happening is the camera has actually lost everything that's in the bottom here. The camera is actually shooting the bottom of the curb versus shooting the wall. Because um, if that's the case, if it's met shooting the wall up here, the car should technically will stop here, right? If it's shooting off the wall, but being that the uh, the camera system seems to me it's going facing down. That's why it's telling us to stop. And it's the same distance between uh, at the curb at 21 inches. Um, but yeah, let's just try it in reverse and see where it goes. All right. I am in my Model Y with Tesla Vision. And I am going to be backing up my car. And I'm going to stop as soon as the car tells me to stop. The car's telling me to stop now, and let's measure it. Alrighty. So I have about 15 inches uh, from where the car is telling me to stop. So it's actually not too bad, uh, better than the front. Um, actually better than I thought it would be. Uh, to be honest, I got a little nervous uh, as I'm backing up. I'm like, when is this car telling me to stop? Because the wall is right there. Uh, but at least we know that when the car we have about 15 inches uh, with tesla vision the car is going to tell you to stop uh, as you're backing up the car against the wall let's check uh, uh, try it out with the uh, tesla with the uss all right so i'm in my friend's tesla model y with uss we're going to back up until the car tells us to stop Well, I'm going to stop here. Uh, only reason I say this is because this is not my car. And the last thing I want to do is ruin my friend's car. So uh, right now, it is uh, USS is telling us that we're about 14 inches away from the wall. Let's measure that to see how accurate that would be. Let's go check it out.
All right. The USS system is very accurate. Um, right now, it is measured from the wall to the rear bumper, 14 inches on the back. So this goes to show that this, is, this does work. It is working. Um, yeah. All right. All right, everybody. So I'm going to give you my honest feedback regarding USS versus Tesla Vision. Um, right now, it's a beautiful day, right? Ideal to do this test. Uh, probably want to do this test again uh, with rain or maybe on a cloudy day or even at night. But um, what I do want to say is there are pros and cons, right? And right now with USS, it's not picking up the curb. It's only picking up the wall. Uh, I'm sorry, the black fence. Um, is it because it doesn't see the curb because it has a black fence? I don't know. Right, so I'm gonna to have to test that again at another location uh, to see if that does uh, if that works. Now, with the Tesla Vision, it picked up the curb very well. Tesla Vision is designed to really pick up the things on the ground. So when watching all these videos online on YouTube, everyone's complaining about Tesla Vision parking the car in the garage. That's where I believe the USS system is actually gonna be better, but. If you're out, you're parking the car in a parking lot, you know, there's uh, curbs, uh, you want to parallel park the car. I think that's where Tesla Vision is going to come out on top. Uh, but again, I could be totally wrong. Um, again, if I take a test at another location, maybe it'll, the results might differ. But at the end of the day, right now, I see that Tesla Vision has an upside. I hope you like my video. Please make a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. If there's something that you want me to cover, uh, please let me know. I'll definitely uh, give it a shot. Uh, please like and subscribe. I am going to be having more videos. I'm actually going on my first road trip in my Tesla Model Y tomorrow. So I'm excited to see how, um, how this is going to pan out. Love to see how this works out. I think that this uh, road trip is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to... Uh, charging the car you know on the road and see see how it all works out but yeah catch you guys on the road